If a microwave's oven cavity light or cabinet light is not working and the light bulb does not appear to be visibly burned out, you can help diagnose the cause by using a multimeter to determine if voltage is reaching the light socket. The cabinet light can usually be reached by simply unthreading a screw to release the lens cover on the bottom of the unit. An oven cavity light can normally be accessed by uninstalling the top vent grill, removing a charcoal filter, and detaching a lamp cover positioned under that filter. Before you attempt any disassembly, be sure to unplug the appliance's power cord or shut off the power supply. Once you've reached the light assembly, disconnect the wire connector or wires. Set the multimeter's range selection dial to volts AC. Then plug the microwave's power cord back in or restore the power supply. Since the unit now has power, avoid touching any electrical components with your hands. Press the light button on the control panel when testing for voltage reaching the cabinet light, if applicable. The oven door should be open when testing for power reaching the cavity light, but be aware that the control board may shut off the voltage to the circuit after a few minutes. Now contact the meter leads to the light socket power supply wire terminals or pins. If the meter display shows that voltage is present, the light socket is receiving power and the socket or light board itself is likely defective. However, if the meter display indicates no voltage is present, then the source of the light problem is probably the microwave's main control board. 